My name is Erica Amato, and I am an admissions counselor at the Grand Campus at Suffolk County Community College. I've been working at the college a total of five years. Um, I started out as a part-time PA in the admissions office, and then I became a full-time counselor in uh, April 2020. So my role as an admissions counselor is really um, ever-changing and exciting. Um, typically, my job is to go into the community, into high schools, um, into local businesses and organizations to recruit students. So um, we're constantly in the field. A lot of my work is not really on campus, except at certain times of the year. Um, and I'm always out in the community recruiting new students. Um, I'm also readmitting students that were once here and maybe didn't finish. So getting them back into the college is a process. I will attend you know, evening college fairs, college panels, parent information sessions. Usually when I'm in the office, it's a matter of reviewing applications that come in, uh, reviewing high school transcripts and college transcripts, evaluating what those look like to give students um, their academic placements. The decline in enrollment is a nationwide crisis, so it's not just a Suffolk County Community College crisis, um, and it does affect the admissions office. Um, for me, I feel like it kind of makes my work more challenging, which I like. Um, it lets us be creative and think outside the box, like what are we going to do to get more students into the college other than just you know feeding from our high schools. So we're constantly thinking of new things and new places to go. Um, you know, in the more recent years, I think since I started, we started to go to different community events um, that we hadn't really participated in in the past. Um, we will go to a street fair over the summer and just set up a, a tent and a table and hand out information to everyone. Um, we will go to the Department of Social Services, the Department of Labor. Fulfillment, I think, for my role outside of admissions is um, I'm the advisor of the Future Educators Club. So that's a club for students who are pursuing careers in teaching, um, school social work, school counseling, school psychology, and librarians. So outside of my role as an admissions counselor, I am a full-time mom. Um, to two boys. Alex is 11 and Ben is 6. Um, they are obviously the light of my life. Any mother would say that. Um, but I didn't have a typical uh, parenting experience with Alex. Um, he was my first and he was diagnosed with autism when he was 22 months old. Um, that was a very hard thing. I had a, it, there was a dark period there for me. Um, you know, I was told that we didn't know if he would ever talk, if he would ever go to public school, if he would ever not live at home, if he would go to college, if he would get married. You know, those are things that all flash through your head as a mom anyway. And the fact that he was not speaking um, and couldn't communicate until he was almost six years old, um, it was a lot but it, it taught me so much. When I started at the college, it made me think about all those students who are on the autism spectrum that have that trouble with change and transitioning and um, anything that's outside of their routine. Um, and it made me realize that I had to do something, anything I could do to help anyone on the spectrum. So I, the only thing I could do um, was create a scholarship. So I did that. Um, it's in honor of my son, so it's called the Alex Amato Spectrum Scholarship. And it's awarded to a student on the autism spectrum um, just to help with those transitional changes. So, you know, the family of, of a student with autism has a lot of extra expenses and a lot of extra things that people don't realize. You know, a lot of people with autism don't drive. So maybe just transportation, that money would help. No, you know, no disrespect to my little guy, Ben, he, he's the complete opposite. So he gave me all of those things that I didn't receive in a parenting um, role in the beginning. So he just like completed my whole motherhood. And it just, 
you know, the two of them, I'm, I'm so lucky to have both aspects of life and they're just everything I am passionate about in the world and everything I do um, is for them. And I think any mom would say that. Being a part of the FA really is a whole new world to me. Um, I've never been a part of a union. I came from a not-for-profit background. I own my own business for a period of time. Um, you don't you don't have a union in those scenarios. And so I never knew what it was like. Um, the fact that we have the FA to support us and really be there for anything that we need is, it's life-changing. Um, I feel so supported that if, if I was struggling in any way that I could go to the FA and they would help me. Um, I've recently become more involved because of the Take a Look at Teaching grant that we received through the FA. So I've been working closer with the FA t with that. Um, but honestly, I think for me, being a part of a union, it just like gives you that comfort and that security that you always have people that are supporting you and they've got your back no matter what. My role in admissions, um, you know, the reason why I, I'm so passionate about this job and um, why I choose to be in this department um, is because of, it's because of the rewards, honestly, that um, telling students that they were just accepted to college and that I just helped them start their journey. Um, reward is a big part of it. It's also because of, you know, students that have never been to college and they don't know where to start. I was one of those students, first gen, um, didn't know anything. My parents were like, you'll, you'll go to college, so just go. They didn't know what to do, um, so I had to figure that out on my own. I don't want to brag, but I do have the best job at the college. <laughs>